Well, for residents of Madison and Beaverhead County, taking the garbage out means a trip all the way to a local transfer site. And these sites have large dumpsters that are periodically removed by trucks. But in some of these areas, those big, those big dumpsters attract bears, and that, of course, leads to some problems. MTN's Chet Lehman has more on that. Madison County has nine sites like this where residents go to dump their garbage. Most of them look like this lid open on a large dumpster. Here near Nevada City, enter high tech and hydraulics. Yeah, it helps to contain the garbage, um, especially with, with wildlife getting in, into the garbage. You have raccoons, magpies, other animals opening up garbage bags, scattering things around. Then if you add wind to that, you end up with quite a bit of garbage blowing around all, all over the landscape. This is the first of its kind in Madison County. $15,000 to install the operating unit batteries and the solar collector that keep them charged. All designed for two main purposes, keeping animals out and allowing the public to use it safely. Safety a key factor in the design of this, making sure that 800 pound lid doesn't hurt anybody. That's why the buttons are clear over here. When you push the button, the lid goes up. The minute you let go of the button, I can't go over here and make that lid go down. That's the safety feature in it. And then to let the lid back down when I'm done, push the red button, down the lid goes, and I'm safely away from any potential injury. We need to make sure that the batteries keep charging up and occasionally we have to clean the solar panels off so that they don't get dusty and start losing their efficiency. But uh, it's basically a matter of making sure that the, the batteries stay charged up. Low maintenance is a plus, but because of its effectiveness at keeping animals out, don't be surprised if you see these high-tech dumpsters showing up in other locations around Madison and Beaverhead counties anywhere these dumpster waste transfer stations exist. Particularly as bear populations expand um, and, and we become more and more aware of the potential for conflicts, I think we're going to see more of these, um, more of these projects like this to keep bears out of these, these types of sites. Prim says with limited maintenance, these dumpsters should function as is for the next 10 to 12 years. Near Nevada City, Chet Lane, MTN News.